Hey everybody, it's Lisa Faber with The Vintage Gypsy, and I also admin a Facebook group called The Silhouette Cameo School for Newbies. I've had several people ask me about the really cool snipping tool, so you're able to copy and paste um, from the internet or from your computer into the Silhouette software, but you do need to have Designer Edition or higher to be able to do this. So, to find your snipping tool, I have Windows 10. You go down to the four little windows at the bottom of your screen, They're usually in the right hand corner, you right click and you go to search. Start typing in snipping tool. Don't do anything at this point until you right click and you're going to pin it to your taskbar. That way it'll always show up here at the bottom for you and you don't ever have to worry about going to look for it again. So once you have that loaded, click on your snipping tool and no matter what screen you're in, it's going to pop up with this little box right here. If you want to be able to take a picture of something and bring it into the software, whether it's from Google or wherever, this is how you would do it. So go out to Google. Oh, I always have tons of stuff on my screen. And we're going to go here and look up. Let's just say we're going to look up a shamrock. If I spell it right, it would come up right. Automatically go to images. Now, if I'm looking for something specific, um, I will usually type in vector because it gives me something that's easier for me to cut with my machine. So we'll just pick one. You can click on it to open it up. Now, you can do the snipping tool two ways. Um, I'm going to click on my snipping tool, bring it up, and I can hit new. And I'm going to go like this. You want to make sure you don't get any of the outside lines of the design. At this point, you can save it. If you don't have Designer Edition, you want to actually go in here and save it to your desktop so you can bring it in. But Designer Edition and Plus, you just simply go right click to copy, go back to Silhouette, right click and paste. And then at this point, you can go in and trace your design. This will be true no matter what it is. If you have a picture, um, if you have um, a selection of words or whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. So if I go back over to Google and I type in, um, let's do like coloring pages because those are really popular. You can do the same thing. Click on it. Go in your snipping tool. And you don't have to do anything at this point. You just hit new again. Do the same thing. Now you can also, if you want to use this for future reference, you can click save. Or if you have basic edition, click on your desktop and type in the name of it. That way you can go in and find it later. Now I can go to my silhouette program and I can actually go to file and open. Remember, I put it on my desktop. So you're going to go look for your desktop and then look for Mickey. Double click it and that also brings it in. That is the steps you're going to use if you have basic edition as well. So I hope that helps. It's a pretty easy. Snipping tool is really a great resource to have because there's all kinds of stuff out there you can use. But anything that you're pulling off Google, remember that it is probably copyrighted and you can't sell it like I can't sell anything to do with Mickey Mouse because of Disney. If you guys have any questions, you can just give me a holler on the board. Um, I'll go ahead and upload the video.